Welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Tip. Today we'll be covering a topic that comes up fairly frequently, JBOD or just a bunch of drive server expansions. This is a topic we're asked about on a fairly regular basis during our engineering calls, so we wanted to delve into why 45 drives does not offer JBOD systems as a method to extend capacity of our storage server or storage solutions. When looking to maximize storage capacity, JBOD expansions can be a highly efficient option. JBODs, or just a bunch of drives, are a collection of many disk drives that are typically combined into a single logical volume or array. While JBOD expansions can be a cost-effective and efficient storage solution, they're not without drawbacks. One such drawback to consider when you're surveying a JBOD expansion for your storage server, even in the case of using software-defined RAID solutions such as ZFS, Redundancy and resiliency are being sacrificed in place of your storage space. Adding an additional collection of disk shelves, which should not come with additional system resources, and often have many drives supported by a single device, runs the risk of losing the whole JBOD expansion with a single component failure. In contrast, our standard ZFS RAID arrays provide redundancy and resiliency by dedicating a specific number of drives for this purpose while physically allocating a set number of drives to each HBA card. This does of course come at the cost of reduced storage efficiency. However, when expanding storage in a single server, JBOD expansions will encounter issues with resource fatigue and contention as the same amount of resources will be split between even more disks. Imagine a storage server, a Storinator S45 from 45 drives, for example. Imagine the unit has reached maximum capacity with 45 individual drives installed, but your team is in need of expanding the total amount of available storage. In this scenario, it would be easy to consider the option of extending the amount of drives in the system by installing a new HBA card, allowing the unit to host an additional number of drives. The new HBA card has a cable that has led to an empty box with no CPU, no additional RAM, but a collection of disk shelves to power those additional drives. The server has a finite number of CPU cores and RAM to accommodate the entire shelf of new, uh, new shelf of disks. This would be a single point of failure and a massive bottleneck that would become more apparent over time. The Storinator CPU also has a defined number of PCIe lanes, and if you're using network cards in conjunction with your HBA cards, you'll eventually be starved of PCIe lanes and even PCIe slots. So in this scenario, the server has been expanded with a large number of new disks, but will be unable to get the full performance out of those drives due to resource starvation. Similarly, if the HBA hosting these drives were to become faulted, you've lost a significant chunk of your data. Even with the most robust RAID array configuration, the loss of an entire shelf of disks is enough to take down an entire array. In this scenario, it's very possible the amount of data loss could be catastrophic and crippling to a business. So what does 45 Drive suggest as an alternative to JBOD expansions to your storage servers? We have a few suggestions. The easiest for us to suggest would be the implementation of an additional server, and while there's certainly an additional degree of cost over a JBOD expansion, the resiliency, redundancy, and performance can more than make up for the additional cost. This solution would remove the possibility of losing an entire disk, a shelf of disks due to a single hardware component failing. This solution obviously comes with one glaring drawback, and that is that you now have two separate namespaces. This may not be an issue in many environments, but is definitely something you'll want to consider. Our second solution for customers with an ever-growing need for storage expansion would be Ceph clustering. Ceph allows for multiple servers to be joined into a single namespace and removes the possibility of a single point of failure. Depending on the size and configuration of the cluster, you can even lose multiple servers, uh, even in the case that they're fully populated with drives, without the worry of data loss. Because each dedicated node has its own compute, memory, and network, it allows you to leverage all of this to be able to continuously scale in a linear fashion for both performance and capacity, which is a stark contrast to using JBOD disk shelves, where you, as you continue to add additional shelves, your overall performance will begin to decline due to resource starvation. A consequence of Ceph not having a single point of failure is an incredibly highly available solution. HA means that you get no more 4 a.m. emergency calls, and it lets admins handle maintenance during work hours without any sort of downtime. 
Due to the nature of Ceph and the approach 45 drives takes when designing Ceph clusters, these solutions are infinitely scalable by simply adding more storage servers to the cluster and can be expanded by just a few drives at a time as the need for storage arises. Ceph clusters deployed by 45 drives are designed to account for the growth of your storage from the moment of deployment, meaning we'll design the cluster with the intent of being able to add a certain number of drives before you need to consider adding an additional storage node. Hopefully this gave some valuable insight into the 45 drives mindset surrounding JBotic server expansions and highlighted some of the risks involved with implementing JBot systems in an environment with sensitive or mission critical data. If you have any questions regarding our proposed solution or how we can design a scalable storage solution for you, please don't hesitate to reach out to our team. We're more than happy to provide you with any information we may be able to provide and schedule an architecture call to review your project. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time, guys.